This is another device. It converts. It's intended to uh, to create flat top spots in uh, back focal plane of a lens installed after it. Yeah. So this is a focal pie shaper. Since we already made the alignment, we can simply install it in our system. Yeah. And now uh, we can see that there is. Uh, uh, another view of a pattern after the beam shaper. Uh, the feature is that if we want to get flat top spot in the focal plane, at the output of beam shaper we have to provide so-called airy disk distribution that is specified by central spot and some rings around. This is what we see on our monitor, the central spot and some rings that are introduced at beam shaper. And on this stage we have to correct the position of beam shaper because the pattern again like always should be uh, symmetric it means that we have to to make it uh, this uh, set of rings should be centered with respect to this central spot and uh, if, when we take the profile right after the beam shaper we can use again only X and Y alignment. So only X and Y, no tilts, because tilts will be corrected and will be checked and corrected uh, when we will uh, work in the focal plane of the lens. So this is a typical pattern after the focal pie shaper. And it is considered okay because we have a rings centered with respect to the central spot. Now, uh, uh, we have to check what happens uh, at the focal plane of a lens. So, by the way, you see the profile, how it changes. So the spot is pretty round and at longer distance it looks like uh, uh, a disc. So, now we will use another rail and put the camera at a longer distance. So we see what happens. So at a longer distance, we still have a uh, symmetric pattern. Yeah. And now, uh, since we have to, um, to realize now a focus spot, yeah, uh, we will use one meter lens for alignment purpose. Of course, in real life, in real equipment, in real applications, people use different lenses with shorter focal lengths, 100, 200, or several millimeters. It depends on application. But for alignment purpose, it is very convenient to use one meter lens because the final spot will be several hundred micro size. And it is possible to use the same camera, like this, camera-based beam profile, to check the profiles before the beam shaper, after beam shaper and in focal plane of this lens. And now you see the beam is focused. And we will put a camera at a distance about one meter where the focal plane is located. And we can see now on a screen the spot And uh, now I have to say some words about the design of beam shape itself. Yeah? So the beam shape has so-called focusing ring. And when we rotate this ring, we can move the focus across the camera yeah, and analyze profiles at a particular distance yeah, by simple rotation of ring. We can, of course, move the camera or we can move a lens yeah, and we will see how uh, profile changes because in case of AD disk we always have variable profiles and we are speaking about optimum profiles happening uh, by focusing of a beam. We still did not finalize alignment. To finalize it we always recommend to to get so-called do not spot. So you see 
this it looks round yeah but it is not perfect yeah because the maximum intensity is in uh, in the bottom of a beam yeah and now we have to correct this uh, profile get it uh, provided again uh, round and symmetric using angular alignment so this means that we have to improve position of these buttons and a simple rule can be formulated as by uh, using this button we have to move the spot in direction of maximum so in this case we have to go down we use we use a button for vertical direction so you see what happens the beam becomes more round and more more let's say symmetric and now we have to go right horizontally so we move horizontally of course we have magnified beam and a little bit more down yeah so this profile can be considered as a practically uh, very close to optimum for this laser we can consider that the alignment of beam shaper is finalized and now if we rotate the uh, focusing ring we can get different profiles and in real life choose optimum one for operation uh, in a particular application we can do the same by moving the camera or material in the application or if it is a machine and we have possibility to change uh, position of a lens we can move a lens for alignment that's it when we get this symmetric pattern we can consider alignment is finished now we have to take the lens off we have to put a real lens in the system and we will get in the focal plane of that new uh, of that normal lens the same profiles like we saw now on the camera so that's it for beam shaper for focal pipe shaper it's enough and we can work uh, with the, in a real system